Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, I will show you how to pass mid rope protection and why you would need to put mid rope protection on the ropes. Let's get into it. We use mid rope protection when we have a situation like this. The edge is not really sharp when it's loaded like this, but if we get a rope touching the edge for a prolonged period of time with the wind moving it, it might damage the rope and that, that's why we can use these rope protectors. Passing them is fairly easy. It's not as much as a step as passing the edge where you have a 90 degree angle because you have to pass an edge. For this exercise, you can actually just take the rope protection off the rope descend down and put the rope protection back on. So let me get myself connected to the ropes. I put my ASAP on, put the rope in the descender, lock it off, check my system again, and I can step over the edge. And now, it's as easy as taking this one off, putting it on top of the rope, but not clipping in the little clip. I'm going to descend down a little bit because I want to have my ASAP a little bit higher and I can't because of this rope protector. So there's multiple things going on right now that we have not talked about. One of them is what should I do when I encounter a beam like this with there's, when there's no structure underneath where, I, underneath where I can put my feet against? How should I do it? Well, if you're like a cool ninja, you just rappel down real fast, but we like to go slow and controlled. So I'm going to keep my feet wide, so more than shoulder width. Descend down slowly. Keep checking that these follow me. And then at the moment that I can see the bottom of the beam, I stop. I can measure my rope protectors. I will lock the ASAP because this is one of those ASAPs that keeps going down. And I swing in controlled, put on the clip, put on the other clip. Ah. There we go. And now I have passed the bit rope protection. But we also have to get back up again and let me show you how that's done after you have moved that little mouse onto the like button and press like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell to never miss a new upload. So let me change over into my ascender. Through some movie magic I am suddenly in my ascender. So you ascend up until you hit the rope protectors. And there's, again, multiple ways to do this. I could just open it up and keep ascending, which is a perfectly good method. Or I can just undo the clip. And with this one, I can actually just reach it. Keep ascending. And when I ascend, I just move the rope pro up. little step. Now we've passed the rope protection while ascending. Let me tell you about where we are doing it. 
Right now we're climbing in Industrial Klimme, beautiful training facility just north of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. They provide all kinds of training. You can come here for your Arata training, your GWO training, your basic work safely at high training and any kind of training in between. If you need any advice or you need any gear to fill out your climbing equipment, you can come to the store where you can test everything out. And if you're not able to make it in person, you can always visit the web store. Link will be in the description. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next time. Stay connected.